Welcome to a new segment called Two for One. It's a segment in which we make two different versions of the same dish in one video. In this case, we're going to be doing a steak on cheese sticks. Oh golly, yeah. We're going to be doing the traditional mozzarella and Wisconsin cheddar. So don't move a muscle, capiche? Mozzarella sticks are delicious, but why should it be the only cheese that gets battered and deep fried? So how about we use the best from the Midwest? It's cheddar if you haven't guessed. It comes from a state where everyone's dairy obsessed. If I go there, what do you suggest? Or should I go to Budapest? I really need to leave my nest. You know I should give this rhyming thing a rest. Now let's put the recipe to the test. Let's get started. Let's get started. First things first, we need to cut the cheese. Thankfully, the mozzarella already comes pre-cut into sticks. Oh, and um, if you think this is cheating, hit it up with the complaints department. Unfortunately, the cheddar I bought does not come pre-cut, so we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Now then, let's batter up the mozzarella. In three separate trays, we got flour, eggs, and Italian breadcrumbs. Now then, if you're not familiar with dredging, first thing to do, coat the object in flour. Toss it in the egg wash. Toss it back into the flour for a second coat. And toss it back into the egg wash. Then finally, toss it into the breadcrumbs. Notice how I keep one hand for dry and one hand for wet. Then transfer it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Now it's time for the cheddar. And instead of breadcrumbs, We're gonna be using panko. Anyway, this is the same thing as before. And finally, stick these into the freezer. And freeze them for about 24 hours. No! No! Well, I'm sorry, crappy Christian cartoon slash inside joke. We can't just chuck them to the deep fryer. If we do, they'll disintegrate. And we're left with a big, stringy, cheesy mess. Something I'm sadly familiar with. Uh, freeze them overnight. Now that our cheese sticks are completely frozen, fill up a Dutch oven with oil two thirds of the way up and set the temperature for 350 degrees. Are you living in a single party state? The number you're looking for is 170 degrees. Okay, once our fryer hits 350, gently dunk in our cheese sticks. Remember gently, so if you splash hot oil all over yourself, you can't sue me. Also, only do a maximum of three sticks at a time. Don't overcrowd the pot. Cook until golden brown delicious. Once they turn golden brown like this, transfer them to a plate with lined with paper towel. Now if you want to dip the mozzarella sticks in something, you can't go wrong with traditional marinara. Now for the cheddar cheese sticks, you can always go with ranch dressing. Oh, and uh, do me and yourself a favor. Please buy the ranch dressing that has to be refrigerated. I mean, come on, keeping a dairy-based product at room temperature doesn't strike you as a little suspicious. Now if you want a sauce that goes good with both, you can't go wrong with buffalo wing sauce. Now you know how to make the cheese sticks. Oh golly, yeah. So don't you dare buy the frozen pre-made stuff, otherwise you'll be showing Ariel the Mermaid your new concrete shoes. Oh, there's a lake 35 minutes northwest of Wausau that's perfect for body dumping. Huh. I'll look into it. This has been Jake Sutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time. Hey, how you doing? If you like the video, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Like if you don't subscribe, you'd rather go on to that Chef John guy or whatever. Well, let's just say Lake Tahoe's really good this time of year.